What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to the Elder Scrolls Online. And of course today we did get a preview of Update 27 and the Quarter 3 DLC which is called Stone Thorn. I will link all this information down in the description if you guys would like to read over it for yourself. They did say that all of this will be coming soon. No specific date just yet. Of course it's going to be coming to PC, Mac, Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and the Stadia. Uh, they did say the PTS on PC should be coming out very soon. I'm assuming probably next week or the next that will be up on PC for everyone on PC to start testing all of the new stuff. Of course, in this new update, you will be getting two new DLC dungeons, which is Stone Garden and Castle Thorn. New sets and collectibles, new Dark Heart of Skyrim storylines, improvements to performance, homestead character pathing for the housing editor, and various fixes and balance changes. Now they're going to give some more information about some of this tomorrow, so be looking for another video here on the channel tomorrow. But the one thing I think that caught a lot of people's attention was the homestead character pathing. What this means is now if you have pets in your home, if you have a banker, if you have a merchant, though those characters, those animals will not just stand in the same place. You will now be able to set a path for them to walk around your house, walk around the yard of your home. So it's going to be something to be a to make your home look more lively. That has been something that a lot of players have wanted for a long time is the ability to have stuff moving around inside your home, whether it be pets or, like I said, your merchant or your banker. So that is a very cool thing in my opinion. Now they did state that uh, some new things about these dungeons. They said, of course, in Castle Thorn, you will fight a, a vampire army rises from the fortified halls led by the Keep's master, uh, the lady powerful or the powerful Lady Thorn. Uh, before the dread host can march on people of Western Skyrim, you must assault the fortress and fight your way through the, monstr the monstrous legions. It says, what a terrible work has the mad alchemist uh, concocted from within the secret lab. The dark creations of the stone garden found deep within the caverns of Blackreach are like nothing you've ever faced before. So they kind of gave you a, a sneak kind of peek or, a, you know, some preview of what you can expect to see or, or you know, uh, kind of can imagine what these dungeons will hold. Now, of course, there was a lot of kind of walkthroughs of this on the live event, if you guys saw it. If you did not see that, like I said, this information is linked down in the description. They do have some photos within this. You can see some of the things or see kind of how these dungeons look. They also want to talk about some, or went on to talk about some other things as well. They said launching with uh, Stone Thorn is update 27 base game patch. This update brings improvements, balance changes, and all new features to all ESO players completely free. Now, of course, the two dungeons will cost crowns, but, or, you know, if you have ESO Plus, that will be included in it, but the update in general will come completely free to everyone. This is an update 27. The team continues to work on, um, to work on different balance changes and new features for all players. Uh, of course, this it fixes to task messaging, uh, improvements to impact of certain items and sets of uh, set abilities, introduces a new critical memory management system. These additional uh, uh, these additions and updates will help stability and re reduce load times even more. In addition to decreasing the number of memory crashes and performance drops, and I know a lot of that uh, is going to be tailored towards PC. I am hoping some of these things will also help some of the. Uh, crashes we have here on PS4. I'm not sure if that's a PS4 issue when you get the blue screen or if it's a game issue, but hopefully that will uh, help with those things just in general. And this is, of course, addition of character pathing to the housing system. You can now build paths uh, for many of your residents, including pets, mounts, and assistants. You can specify many locations for each path and pick their walk speed and delays and even decide whether they loop through to their original location. Your homes will feel more alive than ever. And it says, of course, the public test server for PC and Mac. If you'd like to check out this DLC and update before it goes live, open up your ESO launcher, navigate to the settings menu, and select the show public test server or test environment button. And when that's, once that's avail available, you will then download the PTS client, and you'll be able to play this while the PTS is up. Uh, it says uh, expand your Dark Heart of Skyrim adventure with the upcoming Storm, uh, Stone Thorn DLC pack, and you can experience two incredible new adventures that build upon the drive and drive the epic narrative of this year. So, guys, it looks like we're going to get some pretty cool stuff with this update. Like I said, tomorrow I will be making another video, kind of talking about some of the improvement changes that are going to be making. They said that they were going to do that in a little bit more detail, of course, on the forums. 
So I will make a video for that when that is released. So stay tuned for that one and check back in tomorrow. Like I said, that should be up here on the channel as long as they uh, provide that information as they said they would. But of course, leave me a comment with your thoughts. Are you excited about this new kind of quarter of DLC? Are you excited about some of the things and some of the improvements they're bringing to the game? Leave me a comment with all of your thoughts about everything that kind of was announced today. And if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon up in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. If you have a chance to share the video, please do. It does help out the channel a lot. And be sure to check out GT Racing. They are the affiliate here on the channel, and all their information is linked down in the description. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.